When Starlink is going offline, it's usually because your dish has lost contact with the Starlink satellite constellation or because there's temporary outage. What? We've even seen cases where the Starlink cable was cut off or the Starlink Wi-Fi router didn't work correctly. Wow. Regardless of the cause, we have a solution to fix slow Starlink internet and avoid any kind of Starlink disconnects. This is based on our own experience with the Starlink for RV that we got recently. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you get notified when we post more Starlink videos and connectivity how-tos. Let's talk about Starlink dropping the connections. It's usually a good idea to regularly inspect the cable from the Starlink dish to the Wi-Fi router. Also, if you're using a Starlink Ethernet adapter, you should check that Ethernet cable as well. Assuming everything's okay with the cables, the only trouble you might see is because of Starlink network issues with the satellite constellation. This can not only generate Starlink disconnects, but also slow down your internet connection. To fix this, you can actually use your Starlink together with a second internet connection at the same time. For real skis? You can use our app Speedify to combine your Starlink connection together with an already existing cable or DSL, or even a tethered phone connection. Check out the video linked above in the description. Speedify is the only app that lets you combine your Starlink with multiple internet sources into one bonded super connection for better speed, security, and reliability. Need more tips and tricks about using Starlink effectively? Check out the videos and playlists on our channel, and make sure you subscribe and tap that notification bell.